Let me put these over here so you can see them. <laughs> what size is that? I don't know. My ar- I need longer arms. I've already figured that out. <laughs> and we're back. Here I am, Fly Navarro with Fly Zone Fishing. I'm here with... Pete. I forgot. Scholes. From? Fishing Headquarters. There we go. See, it's a good thing I'm here, right? <laughs> oh. Thanks, Sonny. Hey, listen, I, ha- <laughs> I want to show you how to crimp mono today, okay? I need all the help I can get. You know, get. we have a tackle shop in Jupiter, and we get people come in all the time. And this is a common question. How, do, how come my crimps come undone? How come my mono pulls? So I thought, hey, let's show everyone the correct way, Fly. So this is a piece of 300-pound uh, test, you know, blue marlin type stuff, or um, maybe a, a shock leader on a, on a wahoo lure, so that when you get up to the boat, you have something to grab onto. You want to make sure that this doesn't come undone. So <clears throat> if you wanted to, uh, to put, say, a swivel, a big snap swivel on your line, you would first put the crimp on like this. Then you're going to go through the swivel, and you're going to go back through the crimp. Make sure that it comes out the other side. Slide this down to the size of the loop that you want to create, and then you can push the end of the mono right inside, right to the edge. You want to make sure that the mono is to the edge. Okay. okay? Then you take the, the crimp, and you want to make sure that you don't put it in sideways like the, to, you know, flat like this. You want to make sure that it's long ways so that when you put it in the crimping tool here, make sure that it's correct. And when you squeeze it down, it's actually pushing the two pieces of mono, and I like to crimp it in two spots. And when I pull it out, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. What it's done is it's taken the mono and it's actually pushed them together without damaging the monofilament itself. If you look at that crimp, you see there? It's t- squeezed here and it's squeezed there, and there's really no way that that can come undone, and it's being held in two spots. It's really a good way to crimp the mono with only using one crimp. That's perfect, and it's also really important to make sure you use the right size crimp. Yeah, exactly. Line. Make sure that when you buy the monofilament, the 300 pound test, it'll state right on there 2.0 or 2.3. Make sure that you use the 2.3 crimp. Yeah, it's, it is. It's very important they use the right size. Yeah, there's yeah. No, you can squeeze all you want, but if you got the wrong crimp size, right. exactly. it's not going to do you any good. Yep, and there you have it. Pretty simple. Yeah. There you have it, guys. Thanks for joining us here in the Fly Zone.